Hey, and welcome to Home Reviews. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a new 1080p projector by Vizoni. This one here says full sealed engine, dust proof design. I'll be putting the link for this below the video, so if you guys do enjoy it, and if you wanna pick it up, you can grab it down there. But let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what it looks like. We got everything out of the box. This is what you get. Now, first of all, I will mention that this is much nicer than I expected. It feels like it's built very well and it's more of a square or a cube than it is your typical rectangular shaped for a projector. I kind of like that. It's gonna take up less room uh, setting it on a stand. Uh, it was well protected in the foam pads here. And you also get a user manual we're gonna be talking about here in a minute, a USB cord. Uh, you got your power cord, a really nice remote. This remote is also similar to this, um, very well made. There is no batteries with it though, so you will have to get a couple AAA batteries for it. Now this projector will do a screen size from 50 inches up to 150 inches, depending on how far away you put it. And what we're gonna do is look through this manual. I'm gonna show you a few things in it that may answer some of your questions if you decide that you want to pick this up. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this user manual. You can pause the video if you want to look through it, but you can see here everything that's on the projector and what everything is. It does have two HDMI ports. It has two USB ports, a speaker port, your headphone jack, an AR receiver, power socket, AV port. Let me go ahead and just show you this here. Uh, it does come with a cover also on the lens and everything is protected here too. You can see you've got these little stickers you can peel off. And if we turn it, you can see here on the back, all of your connections you have here. Once again, you got, it looks like this one's got a couple in there you got to take off. And then down here is for your power cord. And then up here is your power button. And then if we flip it over to look at the bottom, you can see where you can also attach this to the ceiling here. This here shows you more about the top and the bottom of the projector, the remote control, and what you can do with it. And this is your projector installation with your aspect ratio and the picture size. So you can start it off at about 50 inches, being 1.54 meters away. And if you go back to 4.62, you can see here it goes up to 150 inches. And then on this page, you can see the projector installation methods how you can install it either on the ceiling or you can just set it on a stand or a shelf. And the rest of the manual talks about using the projector and the settings on it. And we're gonna get more into that once we get it set up and turned on, and then we can see what it actually looks like. Now, one more thing I did forget to mention about this is that with this remote, you can actually stand about anywhere around this projector and use it. With some of the other projectors I've had, you had to aim this directly at the sensor in order for it to pick it up and do what you want it to. But with this one, I found out even if I'm in front of it or beside of it, it still picks it up. And that's a great feature. All right, so I got everything set up. I'm gonna run through and show you how I set everything up myself. And this is just a little screen thing that I built out of PVC pipe here several months ago. You can see I got the screen already showing on there from this box and we're gonna go through some settings and I'll show you all that in a second too. But what I wanted to show you is that in full light in my living room, you can still see this, you can still read it. And that's not very common with a lot of projectors out there. Many projectors, they're just not bright enough to show through so where you can read them or see them during light. And you can see I have all of my lights on in my living room. Now, the other thing I wanna mention about this projector is that it is by far the easiest one I've ever set up. Everything just worked. Everything set up without any types of issues. Um, I got my own little Bluetooth speaker set up to it. I'll put a link below this video of some ones on Amazon you may be interested in, but this one here I just bought at Walmart. It's their um, brand ONN, and it sounds decent. So right now you can see in the back of it, I got my auxiliary cable hooked up, and it's running over here to my speaker. And then I have my HDMI cable plugged in HDMI one and it's hooked up here to my laptop. This is the way that I like to hook them up because it's the most reliable. You're always going to get the best quality out of it is using your HDMI cable, but there are other options you can use with it too. So let me go ahead and just pick up the remote and we're going to jump in here and go to the menu. So let me just go ahead and disconnect my HDMI cable. And then I'm gonna show you here in a minute too what it looks like with the lights off because it looks so much better. Okay, you can see there it disconnected, so it took me back to the menu. Now, if you can see the menu up there, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and turn the lights off. 
Okay, this is what it looks like now with the lights off in my house. And even with that, you can see the light glaring off the floor in the background and over by my door. And that's because it is in the middle of the day here. So there's still light coming in, but look how good this picture quality is. So if we go through these settings here on your remote, the first thing you, I wanna mention to you is the focus, the focus plus and minus. This is really nice because you don't have to get up and twist a knob or anything on here. Instead, you can just hold down, let's just say focus plus. And you can see how it'll auto just keep turning until you let up. So we'll do minus, go back out until we get a crystal clear picture about there. Now on the left hand side, you can see HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and AV. So depending on how you have it connected, that's what you want to select to project from that. For mine, I had mine in the HDMI 1 port. So I had mine selected on the green HDMI 1 and it just, it just took off and started showing up. And that's how we got it to play for my laptop. Now you can see you also have options there from iOS cast and mirror cast. You can also put in a USB and watch movies from it or listen to music or photos or the office suite. All that is available here by inserting it here into one of the USB ports. You also have the option for Miracast. And then if you go to the top up here, you're gonna see your settings option. And this takes you to your Wi-Fi settings. It's synced up directly to my Wi-Fi without any issues. You have Bluetooth settings. So you can pair directly to Bluetooth devices. You have your projection settings. So you got different modes and if you click, you can see how it's gonna flip it around. So this is all depends upon how you have your projector set up. Maybe you have it on the ceiling instead and it's upside down. So that would allow you to easily flip it so you could see it right. And you also have your keystone. So where you can adjust the screen. So if I go down here to four point keystone, click it. This lets you adjust the screen. You can see how it moves based upon how I change it here. Maybe your screen's not straight up and down like mine, or uh, maybe it's tilted a little bit. So you can go through here and you can straighten it up just like that so it looks much better. And then you also have your focus, which I've already shown you from the remote. And then if you're connected directly to Wi-Fi 2, you can do a system update, which mine said that it's already set up and it's already current. And then you can go down to other settings and you can see here where you have a few other options. So what I'd like to do is wait until it's completely dark. So if this room is a lot darker tonight and I'd like to see what this looks like uh, playing something off of YouTube, probably my own YouTube channel just so I don't get a copyright if I play something else. And I will show you guys that when it gets nighttime. But overall, like I said, this has gotta be one of the easiest setups I've ever had with a projector and it looks amazing. So it's finally nighttime, and here's a little bit of a video clip uh, taken so you guys can see the quality of this. And you can see how clear it is, and not just that, but how bright it is too. So overall, I think this is a great projector. In fact, we just got done watching several episodes of Superman and Lois on it. And uh, I'd highly recommend this one. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put that link below this video. Thanks.